All right, well, good morning, everyone. Back out here at the 50-yard line to do a continuation of the ammo uh, testing on the Savage B-22. I had forgotten that I've got about a half a brick of this Aguila 22 Super Extra uh, in my ammo cabinet. So I brought some of this out to run this through it as well here. But really what I'm out here to do this morning with it is... I've got partial bricks of three different lots of Ely match. So I am gonna, really what I wanna do is see if there's any difference between the three different lots. The lot numbers uh, run relatively close together, 40, 50, uh, uh, productions apart so uh, maybe there's a little fine tuning that can be done there with that and where I get this at I'm fortunate enough that I think I can probably find bits and pieces of all of these lots so let's see if it maybe happens to like one of these lots over the other ones and then see if I can get my hands on a bunch of it so anyway uh, let's go ahead and give get this camera going and give her a rip uh, I've got six rounds in this first magazine I'm gonna put uh, one shot on the, I got a couple like cider uh, targets at the very top of it. And then I've got three uh, black pasters uh, out there. There are three quarter inch uh, shoot and see pasters. And I'm gonna put five rounds on or around uh, each of those with the Aguila uh, Super Extra. All right, uh, one cider fowler, because this is a cold bore now. All right, uh, and then the next five will be on that first uh, top roll, left side, uh, and I'm also running the chronograph because I want to get some chrono data on these three different lots as well. But anyway, uh, first group. Not horrible, uh, better than the CCI. Is that? No, that's five. I guess I loaded two ciders. That's right, I did. Uh, next group. Uh, not very pretty looking at all on that one. Last group with the Aguila. Again, not horrible, but uh, not something you're going to shoot challenges with. So uh, I'm going to kill the camera, load up the first lot of the Ely match, and we will share that with you all. All right, uh, first lot of the Ely match uh, ending in 269. Next group. Mm -hmm. 
last group. Was a uh, average of 1090.8 with an SD of 8. All right, uh, next lot of match ending in 385. Next group. Last group. I don't know what happened. That last group fell apart, and that was not me. Uh, yeah, uh, Average muzzle velocity on that was 1071.2 with an SD of 26.5. So I had some light loads in there for sure. All right, last uh, lot of match ending in 393. Oh, reset the chrono. Uh, last group was the best looking one, uh, and it has a 1081.4 uh, average with a SD of 4.7. All right, so after looking at it here, uh, I don't know how well this is going to show up for y'all, but uh, uh, lot 269 was pretty decent. Lot 385 was the one with that horrible uh, SD, and it had a, a horrendous uh, extreme spread as well. Uh, and then lot 393 uh, had the one single best group. Uh, unfortunately, the lot 393, uh, looking back in my bag, I didn't bring another box of that out here. And I started with the partial box on that lot. So I'm not going to be able to run this one all 15 times. But I am going to run the other two, uh, or actually all three of them again, uh, just to try to validate this and slow it down a little bit. So anyway, uh, let's give it a go again with lot 269 on the top roll.
All right, and uh, SD of 10.9 with an average of 1082. All right, the repeat of the lot that ends in 385. Yeah, this is going to be a bad lot of this uh, Ely match. 03385, five shots. I've already got a 28.8 uh, standard deviation. Ten thirty six. Ten sixty five, eleven oh three, ten fifty three, ten sixty eight.
10, 88. 1100. 1072, 1070, 1108. So that last group, what I called off, had at least 30, 40 feet per second fluctuations, but it shot the, the best group. Uh, I just I won't be able to trust this uh, lot 03385 uh, and when it's all said and done that's a 1073 average with the 24.6 uh, SD and session summary with an extreme spread of 83.6 uh, the low was 1024, the max or the high was 1108. So that's 90 feet per second uh, difference from, you know, in 15 rounds. Uh, anyway, uh, learned something. Uh, wasn't why I came out here, but I learned something. I learned that uh, uh, I got to be cautious with this lot of ammunition. Okay, so like I said, I, I'm not going to have enough to do three groups. I had six rounds of this lot that ends in uh, 04393 with me here today. I uh, thought I had more in the bag. I don't. So I'm going to shoot one six-round group uh, at the center paster uh, on this one, and I will use the data uh, from uh, the chronograph uh, to validate the data from the first go-around that I also saved uh, with this and see uh, if this really is the best uh, lot uh, for this particular rifle so let's give it a rip Yep, that was six. So, uh, again, I think that's the same SD as the last time with 15 rounds. A SD of 4.2 with a 1080 average, which is what it was. I remember it's what it was last time. And uh, let's... Uh, with uh, extreme spread of 14.2, uh, the slowest it was going was 1073, the fastest was 1087, uh, so uh, that is probably the most consistent uh, lot of ammo uh, out of the three. Uh, I am going to have to get my butt back down to Sportsman's Guide uh, today or tomorrow. I know I bought this not too long ago and hopefully I can find a bunch more of this on the shelf uh, and snatch it up because it seems like it likes it plus the group doesn't look all that bad so anyway uh, let's uh, quit this and uh, I'll share it with you all a little bit later I'm gonna screw around shoot a couple of people's challenge targets I think here too yet today so till then y'all have a great day and we will see you at the range